Hello, today I have a Dell Latitude E5570. This has a cracked LCD panel. Beautiful, classic. So I'm going to replace it. I'm gonna just shut down. I'm gonna hold the power button down because I can't see windows. And open it up and take the battery out before I touch the LCD panel. Ooh, these screws are loose. Well, they might be captive. Yeah, they're all quite loose. Don't understand that. Because <laughs> sometimes these clips are just a little bit like the doors that they would put in computers sometimes, where you really do have to put kind of an uncomfortable amount of force sometimes. Yeah, this is coming. And I'm not prying very hard, I'm just prying with a little more uh, gusto, a tiny bit more. But I don't want to break it. I can see if I pull up too hard there, there's a crack forming there. Actually, there's a crack in it. So it's been broken before from someone who pried too hard. Wow. Interesting. Look at those wireless antenna wires. That's different. So it's got two dim slots. One is occupied. There's the battery. It's got a like a handle. It's kind of glued down or taped down. So if I lift up on that handle, that should disconnect. I hope that's the battery connector. Just want to be a hundred percent sure that that's how they've intended. Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Yeah, that's the battery connector. I'm gonna take this battery out because I don't think I could set this back down without that battery having the potential to reconnect. So I'm just gonna pop the battery out. Don't know if that's battery or not, it's not, okay. That's a substantial battery, 62 watt hours. Okay. I don't see any screw holes in this bezel. I'm not sure about, so these bits stay on the top plate. So I think the bezel should just come off. Double-sided tape. Why do you do this? Manufacturers, this is such a bad idea. It makes it impossible to get this bezel off without risking damage to the LCD panel. Okay, so now I've got the outside of it started. I'm gonna keep going from the inside. I'm just gently, I'm pulling up with my fingers and then I'm kind of slicing I'm not prying with this, I'm just sort of slicing any double-sided tape. It seems to be working. So now that I've got that, I'll see if I can get, yeah, the outside comes free. Okay. So that's a pretty successful strategy. I'll just continue down the side. This is where, I think this is where it's broken, I can't remember. Yeah, it's over on this side. Plenty of goo in here, this double-sided tape. Uh, I guess I can see why they did it. Their clips aren't very good. You should look at what other laptop manufacturers are doing, because usually they have pretty good clip systems and you don't need double-sided tape. And there are wires in here mingling with the tape. Not ideal. All right. I guess in the end that wasn't the worst. So yeah, you can see the double-sided tape still on here. It might still be good to reuse. The LCD panel appears to be held in with four screws on these tabs. What are these little PCBs up here? ADM80 main PCB, eh? Oh, these are part of the wireless antennas. Hmm. I bet this thing gets a really good reception from the wireless perspective. I'm gonna flip this over. A screw fell out. Where did that come from? And drop it down here and we'll see what we have for connector. So there's the, the connector. It looks like the smaller of the two, the 30 pin. And the connector is mated with the with the webcam connector. So there's the, the graphics connector comes up from the laptop here. And then the webcam connector is a flat cable that goes up to the webcam. 
That looks exactly like an HP webcam. Okay. I might as well try the microscope here. I wonder if I can get it focused that far away. I can. Look at that. I think that's going to be the way to go. Okay. So this is held on with a piece of tape. And so I'm just going to roll the tip of my spudger under there. I like to roll, you know, with the the sticky part kind of holding the spudger and rolling along the part that's not adhesive. Sliding that part along. Okay. Some good progress. This is not the stickiest manufacturer's tape I've ever seen. Usually that's a bit more of an ordeal. So now this should just slide out. What is this? More tape? Okay. Interesting. I've not seen this before. Just gonna pry carefully. Oh, there's a latch. Wow. All kinds of stuff going on here. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't just pry on that. Okay, that's out. Oh, so now for the moment of truth, we will see if the LCD panel that I ordered has the right connector. This computer model has, they used multiple LCD panels, I think 30 pin and a 40 pin or something like that. Uh, it looks correct, doesn't it? It looks like it's the right size. So then the main question is whether the mechanism is the same. Yeah, it looks the same. Well, the same but different. Definitely compatible is going to be my guess. So I'm just going to slide that old panel out of here. So here's the new panel. And we'll try to get that plugged in. The panel is on a little foam pad that comes with the shipping material. Oh, come on. That tape is complicating things. These connectors are fragile, so I'm trying to be very careful. Okay, nice snug fit. And the tape has affixed itself to the latch. So there the latch is down. This is thicker. So I'm going to put that little blue stuff down so it kind of counter sinks onto that latch. That's actually a good idea. There we go. Now there's the manufacturer's tape. I'm going to put a little piece of Captan tape on top of that. There we go. Fits like a glove. I'm just going to turn this around here. There were two more screws lying there. I'm not sure where those screws are coming from, but I think I'm going to be in for some kind of a surprise in a moment. So I'm going to screw this in, just starting these screws before I tighten any of them. So I found that sometimes testing an LCD panel doesn't work if it's not screwed in. I've only seen that one time, but it must have been related to the ground. And so rather than risk any kind of dodginess, I thought I'll just give it a try and just screw it in. No. Customer did not leave a charger, so I guess we're going to put the battery back in. I could see missing screws in here. M2 by 5. Are these 5 millimeter? They look like they are. Is that 5 millimeter from... Yeah, the head is going to be half a millimeter. So that's 5... five five millimeters long so there's one missing there there's one missing there that's m2 by five so that's another five millimeter screw what do i have here i have three there's another one there um i don't understand why there are so many missing screws let's make sure that these are tight there's one there's two, and there's three. That doesn't make any sense to me. Right. I'm just gonna close this so I can put the battery back in safely. This probably latches from the bottom, so I'll slide the bottom in and then drop it in place. 
There we go. The power connector is not very satisfying, the latch on it, but it's okay. So there's the bezel. I'm going to drop the bottom back in place, just make sure all these screws were actually captive. Yeah, they're all still there. I'm going to give this a bit of a clean. The CPU fan ooh, it has, oh no, that's a wire that I can see through. Let me get some of these dust bunnies out of, out of the corners. Foreign material here that I would like to get out. That's good. I know I tightened all the screws before I even tested, but at least I didn't put the bezel on. So let's turn it on and see. If we have an LCD with backlight with the Dell logo, looks good. I'm going to take the protective cover off. I'm going to ground myself while I do this because this sometimes generates static electricity. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. So I'm just going to snap this bezel back on. Trying to be very careful not to put any pressure on the LCD panel itself. Okay, so I'm not sure about the bottom, if that is all latched into place. Alright, thanks for watching.